Hey, thanks for watching today. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel for some more free bowling content, that would really help us out. Have you ever gone to a bowling tournament and the oil pattern that you'll be bowling on is posted, but you just don't know how to read that graph? Or maybe your local center is posting the house shot that you're bowling on every week, but you're just not sure how to tell what exactly it is that you're bowling on. In this video, we're going to teach you how to read that graph so you can get a better idea and understanding of what's happening out there. We'll start with the Kegel Recreation Series High Street pattern, uh, which is a house shot, basically. Um, on the left-hand side of this sheet, at the top of the page almost, you'll find oil pattern distance. It's 44 feet. That's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, this pattern is 44 feet long. Now, if you were to go to the right side of that sheet and down one row, you would find volume oil total. This is the total oil that's on the lane, 25 milliliters. So 10 milliliters is equivalent to like two teaspoons. So there's about five teaspoons of oil on the lane. Um, sounds a little bit different when you put it in those terms. Also on this sheet, you'll find the forward oil total. Um, that is 14.75 milliliters and the reverse oil total is 10.25 milliliters. And what that means is the forward oil is what the machine's applying when it is going forward down the lane. And the reverse oil is what is it applying when it's coming back to the follow line. So the last thing on this sheet that we're going to talk about is over on the left hand side from the middle towards the top there. Um, it's going to give you the forward and reverse uh, numbers. This is what is programmed in the machine or sometimes called logic. Um, so the 2L start and the 2R stop, that means the second board on the left and the second board on the right. Um, and it's showing that it's putting down two loads at a machine speed setting of 18. Um, and there's different uh, amounts of loads that are going to be applied uh, per, uh, you know, one is the two to two, two is the nine to nine. Um, and then the speeds will also change. So, you know, 18, 18, 18, 18, 22, and 30. Uh, so that means that the machine would be traveling at a little higher rate of speed when it's applying or slower, depending on what that speed rating is that is set in there. Uh, then the other numbers to the right, that shows you, you know, the boards crossed and then the amount of oil that is applied to the lanes. Okay, the next sheet that we're going to take a look at is last year's 2023 USBC Open Championships doubles and singles pattern. Uh, so they don't actually post this while they're bowling that tournament. Um, a lot of places will run an event or, you know, a tournament or sweeper or something, and they'll post something like this and they'll use these patterns, you know, that year after, um, just because more people are familiar with what they were. Um, so on this particular one, if you were going to go to an event and you're going to bowl on this and they've posted this online, you can see that this is 38 feet on the top left there. Um, the total oil volume is 23.56 on the right hand side there, one column down, um, or one row down. Um, and then the, the, uh, ratio of this pattern is much flatter than your typical house shot. It's 1.79 to one. So you can expect that the scores will be much, much lower on something like this. And this will also show you that that forward, that reverse, and that combined oil. Um, so I hopefully th this can give you a good idea. and You can make some educated decisions on which, you know, bowling balls you'd like to take with you to the event. Okay, just for fun, on this last graph we're going to take a look at, we're going to look at the 2024 U.S. Open pattern number four. This pattern is on the left-hand side, close to the top there, 41 feet. Uh, the volume of oil on the lane is 28.935, and what that means is there is more oil on this pattern on the lane than there was the house shot or the doubles and singles pattern. Um, this also shows you the loads that are on the lane, the 2 to 2s and the 8-8 you know, eight to eight and the 11-11 11 11 and so on. The forward and reverse oil still shows you those uh, those tinted blue colors so you can see what's being laid down in forward and reverse. And then the ratio on this pattern, it's much, much flatter than the house shot, obviously, like the uh, uh, doubles and singles pattern was. But this one is 1.75 to 1 on the right, and it is 1.5 to 1 on the left. Uh, what this means is that this pattern is asymmetrical. Um, oil patterns do not need to be the same. They do not need to be symmetrical, the same on both sides. Uh, some patterns will be different. 
uh, there's usually more traffic on the right-hand side of the lane uh, than there is on the left, uh, more right-handed bowlers than there are left-handed bowlers. So again, um, hopefully, if this uh, information is available to you before you go bowl in an event that you're planning on going to bowl in, you can uh, read these pages, uh, maybe make some uh, educated decisions on which bowling balls to take, you know, longer pattern or shorter pattern, uh, a lot of oil or a little oil. Um, but if you have any questions, please post below um, and we'll see if we can get you some answers. Obviously, we didn't go through all of the information on the sheet, uh, but the object of the video today was to just give you a better understanding of the basics of that sheet, be able to tell how long the pattern is, how much oil you're bowling on, and you know how flat that pattern is. Uh, so you can be a better bowler in the long run by uh, educating yourself on what you're bowling on every week or you know, when you spend your money to go bowl in these events, what you're bowling on if they're posted. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and then subscribe to the channel. Thank you.